Okay, now I'm going to mark the X 90 degrees in two directions. I will explain what I'm doing. Okay, I put the X mark, an X mark in one side. If it be 10, at uh, 2 o'clock I put another X mark. They will be around uh, 90 degrees separate. So to, to identify these two, the one which is marked X will be different from this one because uh, because I put a dot on it. So I will identify it if it has been turned the egg inside the incubator. So I will do the same. Uh, let me explain what I mean by 10 and 12. If the top part of it be 12 and the lower part be 6, this part will be 10 and this part will be 2. So imagine this like a, a clock, the face of a watch. So I have marked 10 and two on this egg. I will do the same for all the um, eggs that we have, fertilized eggs. Okay, I have marked all of them. Now that I'm at the pen, pencil and the eggs, I'll just explain something to you. I remember the story. During the space uh, exploration, the Americans have spent millions of dollars to invent uh, a new design for the pen that can actually work in the weightlessness. Um, being able to uh, have the ability to write when it is upside down or writing upward. And eventually made it, but after spending a lot of money. And what the Russians did, okay, Russians being Russian or practical people, what they did, they took a pencil to the space. You can write in any direction, doesn't need air pressure or anything. That's the ingenuity. Okay, as you can see, the temperature is now 37.5. So I will leave this for the next three hours or two and a half hours now. Because the temperature that you see is at the thermometer. The rest of the body of the thing are not the same temperature. So here, I can feel it actually. In top here is warm. No. The bottom part is not that warm. So the whole thing must get warm to that same level. So keep it for three hours. will make the temperature rise uniformly all across the body of this, including the water container. The water also must warm up to that level. So the water takes a longer time to warm up than solids because it's a liquid but it keeps the heat for a longer period of time. So we let it go like that, and then after that, I will add the eggs after two and a half hours from now. And we have now put this for three hours, a little more even, and I can feel that is all of it is warm. And we are now going to remove this cap cover the temperature at the moment is 37.5 and uh, it just fluctuates between 0.5 and 0.6 that's normal that's all right as far as I can understand and uh, put the eggs on I have the eggs here and I'm going to put them on I've already marked them so they will be all right when I put them there so when I put the eggs on I'll put the and pointed for toward the edge of the um, egg incubator and I put it in a way I can see this and uh, so we will see if it is moved I've seen actually several times during this night that uh, the egg incubator has turned the uh, disc so that disc is working I have to do it quick because the egg incubator top is there and I don't want to lose the heat and humidity. So I put all of the eggs now except one. I wish we had another one but we don't have so we have to go with what we have. I'm putting this one here also and so we have now seven eggs in place six eggs in place the one is empty i'm going to place this tag cap back and as you can see i have put this cap back
and the temperature is now fallen to 29 but is rising again because I had to remove the cap and put the eggs in. And now we are going on 21 days and counting. I know she said there is a little hum all the way when it's working. So this is one of the kind of criticisms that we have about this device. But we have to live with it. And we will see how it will affect us. We can put this somewhere a little bit quieter on the back of the uh, display. So it, it is the same room, just somewhere a little bit quieter. And uh, yeah, we will see how it will do. The temperature here is, uh, this room is uh, 18 degrees, between 18 to 21. So that's all right. We don't put it in just direct sunlight. It's not in direct sunlight. So that's also... Something we have been considering and uh, we have thought about it already. And let's see, let's go on. And uh, the the humming, the zzz you can hear is from the fan which is underneath here. There is a fan which blows the air over it. So that's all right. Temperature as you can see is now, I've risen since we opened the cap, now back to 30. 30.2 degrees centigrade.